So Dan, Chris and I both saw on Facebook that you were called out by another local comedian about stealing a joke of his and using it when you were out of town at another club. Apparently you also put this joke on social media as your own. Misunderstanding? Mistake? Would you like to talk about the joke thievery from your point of view? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to Uber Spicy, the hot new spicy food challenge in a car. Tonight we have comedian Daniel Clark with Woo! us. Dan Clark, yes. your stage name. Welcome to the show. Yes. How are you with spicy food? Um, I'm all right. You're all right. Until about three hours later. And then it's not <laughs> yeah. So good. Do you ever eat any hot sauces? Oh yeah, yeah. I love spicy food. Oh, it's just, okay. I know. Do. I don't usually. I try to avoid it because of the three hour time. The three hours. So the immediately the three hours. The ring of three, fire. Three to four hours every time. <laughs> all right. I love tapatio. That's my jam. But okay, tapatio. I pay the penalty every time. <laughs> all right. Okay, so tapatio does it for you. Oh, you might be hurting. Tonight. Oh well, that's not spicy. I just like the taste of it. Oh okay. I'm, I've tasted pretty spicy. Food, gotcha. I know, oh, but I. I will know I'm going to be hurting. I'm not trying to. Yeah, yeah. No, it's <laughs> like we do this every week and we still hurt a bit afterwards. Oh, you know, that's right. Yeah, I'm saying you guys yeah. haven't built up any resistance yet. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm noticing. Yeah, so. no, I think you just know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so All right, true. let's start okay. with Sriracha. Sriracha. Coming in at 2200 Scoville units. Down the hatch. This is my favorite. Mm hmm. And we have milk for you if you'd like some at some point. Oh, good. Just and water. There's a water in the door. Let me explain I'm the rules. Okay. But, yeah. So we have six sauces, uh, sauces one through five. You can have all the liquids you would like on sauce number six, your six nugget. Uh, to win the five minutes of fire challenge, you have to go five minutes without <laughs> any liquids okay. to win the prize tonight. There's a prize, yeah. Okay. okay. We got, there's a prize, yeah. Yes. No other prizes. Yep, for the challenge. Oh, all you need to do is put a competition out there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Next one up is our very own Uber Spicy Original Habanero Hot Sauce. Mm. The Scoville rating is unknown on this one. But it's delicious. I love habanero, so that's exciting. Down the hatch. So Dan, Chris and I both saw on Facebook that you were called out by another local comedian about stealing a joke of his and using it when you were out of town at another club. Apparently you also put this joke on social media as your own. Misunderstanding? Mistake? Would you like to talk about the joke thievery from your point of view? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely, you know, a new comedian. I was probably about maybe two months in. And just wrote a joke on the plane uh, on the way there about Nazis and potato farmers. I'm 37, been in Idaho about 25 years. I've been making jokes about Nazis and potato farmers my whole life. I used the tagline that I kind of came up with earlier to finish jokes. And afterwards, I, uh, you know, had a good set, had a three minute set that, uh, you know, Wise Guys in Vegas, which was pretty cool because I actually sent in my info and I know they have some spots for new comedians, mm -hmm. but I didn't tell them I was a new comedian. I just told it. I just said, "Hey, here's my social media. Look at my videos," and they, yeah. they gave me a spot. So I oh, felt really cool. good about nice. it. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like a give you spot because you're new. Right. It was yeah. legit. They had no clue I was new. It was the first time I ever did that. Yeah. And I came up with this joke on the plane. I thought it was a joke that I, uh, you know, which I I really wrote the joke. I don't. I didn't see it anywhere or anything. Um, but it was very close to a comedian from Boise's joke mm -hmm. that he had done out of town. And I guess. Uh, when I got home, uh, you know, I tried. I, I tried for a little while to post videos to kind of get a following, which I'll probably do again. This is what made me gun shy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I posted the video because it was my first. It was literally my first joke. I didn't like go through my set to figure out my best joke. I just posted the first joke. Yeah. My phone died, and then I went online uh, a half hour. Well, I didn't go online. I actually turned on my phone, and my girlfriend called me and said a phrase to me. She's never said check Facebook. And I was like, well, you've never wanted me to go on Facebook in your life. This is going to be <laughs> yeah. very, very urgent. So yeah. check Facebook. And uh, I see a post from Jake saying, hey, this is my joke. He stole it. And, you know, I, uh, I'm Jake's, I don't know how old he is, but I think he's a lot younger than me. And I actually understand being defensive and assuming the worst from everybody. 
Mm -hmm. But the second I saw that, I had no clue it was his joke. I messaged him. I took it down. I apologized. And I'm like, hey, man, I had no clue that you had a joke similar to this. And yeah. I'm not the comedian that wants to fight over jokes. Like, if you have something similar, take it. All yeah. Long story short, uh, I immediately just took it down. And I really didn't ever see this joke. In fact, I really had no clue that it was mm -hmm. even close to any comedian's joke. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards, I took it down. And I... I I feel bad. Like that's the mm. that's the that's the horrible part is I didn't do it on purpose, but I still feel horrible about it. Because yeah. Because I never want to take anybody's material. That's the literal last thing I would ever want to do. In our messages, uh, he he said, "Yeah, I believe you." You know, because to me, I don't know what kind of it, either. I'm the dumbest person on the planet, or I'm the biggest narcissist, or mm. I really don't care about anybody else. If I stole a joke authentically, went online, found somebody's joke that it is in yeah. Boise. And then posted it online. Right. It, that might be the single dumbest move on the planet. <laughs> <It would be. laughs> or, or no I actually thought it was my joke yeah, yeah. and had no fucking clue. Right. This is number three, Tear Fing's Curse, coming in at 99,000 Scoville units down the hatch. 99,000? That's a big jump. Mm hmm. No All right, let's switch it up. Yeah. Sorry. He says, no, you're fine. Thank you so much for. Speaking on that, um, mm -hmm. comedian and writer. You're a writer on Medium. I do. I write quite a bit. I haven't. I've taken a few months off. Mm -hmm. Mentally, it's been exhausting. But yeah. <laughs> where can people find your clips of your comedy? Is that mostly on? Uh, comedy is just Dan Clark comedy. Okay. That's part mm -hmm. of the reason I do it. Is that's a generic name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you can get a generic, you, you have a generic name, and you actually don't have to put a one after it. It's destiny this late in the game. It's <laughs> What do you mostly write about? Is it comedy topics? No, no honestly, oh, it's just... pretty all over the place. I'll, I'll do like political commentary, mm, social good. commentary. Okay. Like, on issues of like, gender or, mm -hmm. or, or race or age or okay. you know, other topical stuff. Pretty much anything, honestly. It's pretty whatever I want to write about. <laughs> like, it's oh, okay. very all over the place. If you, during the pandemic, I just kind of went back to it and I was like, hey, I can write. You know, I used to write poetry. Yeah. A lot of okay. things, so write music. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you play any instruments? Uh, I, not anymore, but I, I played uh, the piano for six years oh, okay. when I was a kid and the guitar for seven years and the trumpet for eight years. Oh, nice. So mm. I can, I mean, I've retained a lot of it, but yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't actively play them. So it's oh, okay. Gotcha. I mean, but don't have your lip if anymore, you gave me, guessing. No, I actually do. Really? Mm. <laughs> oh. The trumpet lip never leaves if you really <laughs> care about women. You need that trumpet lip. <laughs> It's the reason my girlfriend stays with all my gone. mental illnesses. She's like, but he can vibrate his lips like an actual vibrate. <laughs> Move on. Oh, next boy. one. Up that one was pretty hot. My wife is. Uh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do a thing. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Okay. I'm so like in my head. Okay. Good. Uh, I, it's still out in my mouth. Next one. <laughs> That's what she said. Is the bomb coming in at 135,600 Scoville units? Wow. This is the bomb. The bomb. This, 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 this yes. is the famous yeah. the bomb. The famous Are the you bomb. serious? Yes. Oh no. Only on yeah. one side, too, but oh god. I've been wanting to try this oh. forever. Wow, mm. I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> this is the one. It's awful. Mm. No, I mean, it's going to be awful, but I'm just happy to experience it. <laughs> That's the how I've approached life. It's awful, <laughs> but you got to experience it. <laughs> All right, what's something most people don't know about you that you'd like to share? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I used to play sports. I was honestly a college athlete, but I hurt my ankle before, what college? before we started basketball, so I stopped doing that. And what college were you at? Montana Tech, getting okay. a scholarship. Nice. And I tore every ligament in my ankle that summer. Oh, geez. And I, had a, I had pretty good ankles. Mm. I played on my whole senior year like that, but. Um, I don't want uh, to not be Uncle Rico ish, but I told some comedians this <laughs> because it's weird. Uh, one of the most popular comedians here is very odd. He's from my hometown. So I have all these Back to the Future jokes I want to do because I always go back. It's Jack Wheeler. Oh. I'm from uh. Blackfoot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So when I told them I was good at basketball, everybody there at the table just couldn't believe it because the way I look, which is understandable. I'm short yeah. and slow. <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, yeah, by the end, I started name dropping some stuff to Jack Wheeler, and I think I was like, ask these guys if I'm good. And once I knew those people's names, he was like, oh. Uh, there's a challenge to any comedian. Any comedian that wants to play me in basketball in Boise, <laughs> I will play you. You just oh. message me in the group. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is there a comedian? 50 bucks. 50 uh, bucks if you beat me, 10 bucks if you lose. There you go. Five to one odds. All right. Wow. Meridian, well, Meridian Home Court. I, play, I can play there at noon. 
They have eight courts. One so on one, one or? One on one, yeah. Four Whatever four. rules you want. No, no. One on one okay. basketball. Like, Whatever basketball. rules. Like, like, like make it, take it, or not make it, take it. Prison Play it rules. Well, you, you call fouls. Defense call fouls. <laughs> I don't know. It's from oh, the cable fouls. guy. When, um, oh, I love that movie. Jim Carrey was like, oh, we're playing prison rules. <laughs> I love <laughs> that movie. Oh, I see. Out, Any community. In rules. fact, if you want to all play, I won't play at the same time, but you can play me in a row. I'll, I'll beat one, and then another, and then another. <gasps> same game. Oh, same game. Same right day. in a row. This is going to be a real. I want a water break. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a real, yeah. A five-minute water break, and then I'll beat you in a row. Oh, absolutely. Because we're posted. You have no idea how confident I am that I'm better than every comedian. I can tell that you're I've seen every comedian in the valley. All right, I next. didn't take a drink yet. I'm you the did bomb. great. You Dang, did great. I'm sweating. Killing wow. it. I see a little glisten. But it doesn't matter. I don't feel pain. I, oh, good. I, I ripped my nails off. Impressive. You ripped your nails off. No, every day. Every I, day. I, I, I have really bad anxiety. Oh. Like, okay. Because oh, I'll okay. be like, no, look, at, look at my fingernails. You never yeah. see nails this bad. Wow. I, I don't have a nail on a finger right now. Right. I'm missing wow. every single nail. Wow. I, by just by ripping them off. Wow. That's some What happens when you run out of... Oh, Nails I wait till they come back toes. and I rip them off on you. No, I used to bite my toes when I was a kid, but yeah, I, I actually, I, I'm also a germaphobe. So we, when I was like seven, I was like, this is, we can't do this. <laughs> yeah. I have There's to call germs. I, yeah, I was like, we gotta draw a line between the OCD <laughs> and the germaphobe. <laughs> and this is where it is, no toes in the mouth. Like, <laughs> I've always told people I've never bit my toes, but I was like, no. There was a couple of years, six and yeah. seven. Six and seven. You're I was, kid, you're I was like, still flexible, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I was exactly. like, those toenails are so smooth yeah. compared to my fingernails. <laughs> Yeah. That was hot. I'm so happy to experience that. Now when I watch Pretty every episode hot. you guys do. You know yeah. what the bomb is like. And every episode Hot Ones does. Yeah, exactly. We can say their name on here, but yeah. like. Yeah, no you can't. Cut like, it out. Because everybody, every, every, that's the one. That's, that's the, the one, one that. that everybody yeah. breaks down that's here why we were like, and on what there. Is the deal? And I'm like, how yeah. bad is it? Like, All right, let's move on. Melinda's Ghost Pepper, Wing Sauce, and Condiment. Coming in at 400,000 Scoville units. Down the hatch. What was the bomb? 135.6. Mm -hmm. So those are like three times as hot? Uh -huh. Okay. I actually have really bad stomach issues, so. Oh boy. That, uh, no, 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 but then. here's the funny part. That heat in my mouth, that's no worse than the stomach acid that I feel oh. almost all day long. Okay. okay. Do you have oh, reflux? My, well, well, amongst other things, but yeah. Yeah. So I'll get, I'll get reflux later, but people are like, don't eat spicy, but I'm like, I get reflux from Cheerios. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell us, is there a scene in Ontario? We understand you're coming all the way to Boise to go to open mics. Is there anything happening there? Um, there isn't. I tried to get the show started with a dispensary and they were all on board, but I'm not a producer. And I don't know if it was too expensive or what, but mm -hmm. it's been hard to get a hold of them last month, so I don't think it's going to happen. But I think there is a room for maybe like once a month. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of ideas that I think mm -hmm. we can yeah. get open mic going. I should, I should really want to do something because let's be honest. Most of the comedians come out there once a month anyway. Mm. You know oh, well, yeah. For other reasons. Yeah, yeah. For other reasons, we won't know. But yeah. <laughs> so they come out there and then you go up the mic and yeah, buy your stuff be anyway. Cool. It'd be yeah. that easier, cool. you know? Yeah. Maybe mm. even do a discount with a dispensary or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Can't pay cool. an open micer, but yeah. you can save 50 bucks on your legal stuff that's there that they would yeah. never bring back into Idaho, of course. No. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You use that all before you go over the border. Exactly. Yeah. I'm using all two ounces in the next mile and a half. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> all right. Up next Ooh. is Hellfire Doom coming in at 6.6 .6 million Scoville units. I don't know what's worse, the name or the rating. <laughs> Hellfire <laughs> Doom? Are you kidding me? Right now? Okay. Down the hatch. Uh, that's funny. Timer starting. Oh. Hmm. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, you're um, welcome. I don't know what anybody's gonna think about what I had to say, but it's very nice to have somebody to let me say my side. You know? Oh, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. good. Good. I just appreciate that. that in general. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what's been so tough. Is I don't really have a voice. I don't know if you guys agree with me or don't agree with me, which is not yeah. the point. Yeah, it doesn't me. matter. I just appreciate <laughs> you guys letting me like yeah. say my side. <laughs> yeah. So that was really yeah. awesome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh God. What are your, <laughs> oh, it's awful. I mean, what are your comedy goals and dreams? The whole thing. <laughs> uh, the whole the whole thing. Yeah. I don't do any. I don't do anything halfway. That's just, <coughs> I maybe I have a lot of undiagnosed stuff, and I have mm -hmm. a lot of diagnosed stuff. Don't get me wrong. But 
I just don't do anything halfway ever. Mm -hmm. I had no kids when I was 29 years old, and I'm 37 and I have six kids. Oh my god. One of them, one of them wow. is kind of an adoptive son from my uh, girlfriend's homeless sister who didn't have a place to live and she had a little baby and yeah. like, just live here forever. You know, you have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no questions asked. Like, and you know, he's the, uh, it's funny because I mean, he can get a long nose and I have another um, 14 year old son who has autism. So we have two. Two sons who have autism, and oh, we wow. we relate more than anybody. So I'm like, yeah. I make a lot of jokes about that. A lot of therapists yeah. have reference that, but I haven't got officially diagnosed just because. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was. <laughs> I always abandon the survey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that would be awesome because I'm a Old sweater. Pile. You're gonna see all my forehead. Ugh. But uh, yeah, uh, I, my comedy goals are really honestly, if if no one if I never get on a show that's paid, that's okay with me. Because mm -hmm. I love comedy. It's the same thing. Reason I was good at basketball. I'll be honest. Yeah. Because I didn't play basketball to be the best player. I love basketball. Yeah. And I love comedy. Yeah. No matter what happens. So as long as mm -hmm. Blue City Comedy's gonna let me get on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna get on stage. You know. Right. I'm gonna drive 45 mm -hmm. minutes both ways. Yeah. In the middle of the night in snow. I drove in crazy snow Thursday <laughs> night. You have no idea. I couldn't see. I thought I was gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> and I thought. Really and I had it. for one minute. Yeah. People send this, but I'm like, but I don't feel joy like that. Yeah, I, I love my kids, but I, I, and my kids really give me a lot of joy. But I'm saying, for me, it's like I'm, I don't have a place to talk about what's always been in my head, right. other than yeah. on stage. Right. Yeah, and I do it in a way that sometimes makes people laugh, sometimes it doesn't. But I don't know, and I wouldn't. I don't want to trade that feeling. Right? Yeah, that's so, important. So, yeah, definitely. I, I, I hope that it never gets lost. How much I appreciate. Blue City and Haley. And yeah. Nate. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, people. That's cool. Like, Nate, and I hope he knows, like, he really, he's probably the reason I can still do this. Mm -hmm. I oh, know he cool, is. Yeah. Because oh, two guy. reasons. One, one, when I showed up 37 to an open mic on Saturday, never been to any place, have never been on stage in my life. Okay. Yeah. And he just go, I just, I had, like, broke. And I was, like, convinced my girlfriend to let me go. Yeah. I had, like, no money, didn't know there was a cover. And so I showed up. And I go, well, I'm, I'm going to do comedy later. And he just goes, oh, you're a comedian, you're free. Oh, nice. And he called me a comedian. <laughs> and just yeah. him doing that, I was yeah. like, oh, I can get up on stage now. Someone yeah. called me a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's what made me do it. Like, right. like, And then, you know, I had some down times. And he just basically said, hey, man, you're either going to let people, you know, crush you or not. Like, yeah. are you going to let them stop you from pursuing what you want or yeah. not and i'm like you know you're right i'm not i wasn't i've never been that guy. guy i'm not gonna be that guy so yeah shout out to nate i love you man yeah yeah nate like, ford's good guy we love nate. Like, and on he's our show been many awesome. times yeah, <laughs> no, I, yeah like Great well I, mean, I don't know how he is with everybody i just know like with me mm -hmm. i know i mean i know i was with everybody says it, but i'm just saying yeah. i don't think he's a good guy from what i hear yeah. For me specifically, he's been a dude that's been like yeah, he's been really personally good to you. Yeah, just like yeah. fair with me. He's yeah. never he never said, "Hey, you know, you're right and they're wrong." I mean, it's just good, like, "Hey, man, do your thing." You know yeah. what I mean? Like, don't give up yeah. or do give up. Yeah, is it exactly. important to you or not? And I appreciate it. he's not like telling me what to do. He's like, "You make a decision, yeah. make a decision." You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm yeah. like, I'm like an adult. <clears throat> so I appreciate that. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. A lot. Oh, this one's hot. Oh, yeah. here's the timer. We only got yeah. Time. yeah, we're almost Woo! there. Uh, like I said, I don't feel pain. Not, not in the competition. <laughs> pain. I was 145 pounds, and I used to have to run the option in high school. What's the what? option? Run the option. That's oh. where you run at a defensive end and no one blocks him. Oh, God. And the, this is, by the reason they call it an option is because he had an option oh. to hit you as hard as he could. 10, could. Or 9, hit the running back. 8, <laughs> 7, Woo. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Oh, this has been fun. Dan Clark, wow. you killed the five minutes of fire you got through the bomb wow. first time I'm ever. Sweating. Hellfire doomed <laughs> at 6.6 6 million, and then uh, five minutes my of eyes fire. Are so, like, Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah. We're very appreciative. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you there. No, no, you're fine. And we'll see you next time on Uber Spicy. Woo! <laughs> Do you need more? Oh, no, we have plenty. Okay. <laughs> that was very... That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you killed it. <laughs> yeah, you guys have a good concept. Right? Yeah. Like, oh. Hey guys, Chris here from Uber Spicy. If you like that video and you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button right there and check out one of our other videos here that I'm sure you'll enjoy. We'll see you next time.